Hi, my name is Dominant. I'm very excited to demonstrate in this video the results of many hours of testing grenades on labs. I want to give Axel TV credit for teaching me what you are about to see. Grenades are very important in lab. When you're out of grenades, your options decrease significantly. My goal is to give whoever is watching more options. This is done by taking advantage of the terrain and grenade physics, and I believe it will help you gain an advantage on your opponents who aren't using these tactics. This video will cover three topics. Number one, how to throw the nade behind cover without exposing yourself. Number two, specific examples on labs. And number three, whether the developers intended on this. I plan on making a guide for each map, so your feedback is very much appreciated. So how do you throw a nade without a dangerous peak? When you walk forward while throwing a grenade, your character throws it much farther. If you throw it at a surface while moving forward, some interesting things happen. Let's talk about what is going on. The grenade bounces off surfaces much farther when you walk forward before the throw. The variables which determine where the nade will land are the type of grenade, the shape of the surface I throw the grenade at, and the angle at which I throw the grenade towards. Any flat surface will reorient the grenade to go parallel along the flat surface it was thrown against. Round surfaces have less predictable bounces. The speed and distance the grenade will travel depends on the angle of approach your character uses. I've tested this all over labs. You will see a highlighted portion where you want to throw the grenade towards. Then you'll see where the grenade lands. The type of grenade used will be shown in the bottom right corner and a list of which grenades are compatible with the throw you're seeing. Let's begin. M67s have a tendency to bounce high. Vog 25s explode too soon, but you can use a Vog 17. You want to reach the end of the hall. This throw is difficult with anything but a VOG. These next two throws, you can't use M67s on. Again, they bounce up when you throw them towards the ceiling. They don't bounce, uh, they don't reorient the same way. This is an example of a surface on the ceiling you can bounce a grenade on.
you're gonna use a VOG, you wanna be very careful. No room for air. So is this something the developers intended? I believe so. Consider the obstructions placed in the hallways that prevent the grenade from traveling even further. More obstructions could be placed in order to limit how far the grenade can be thrown. Also, changing the physics is another option. In my opinion, if things are left how they are, reducing the damage of Vogs is necessary because these throws do not give anyone time to escape. Your thoughts? If you enjoyed the content, be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube. You can watch me live on Twitch for answers to your questions about Tarkov, find people to play with, and watch me continue testing the game mechanic. I usually begin streaming around 10 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time or 5 p.m. Central Standard. I hope you enjoyed the content. Thank you so much for watching.